All right, we live at NYCB Live National Coliseum. I'm with the I'm with the couple, man, the married boxing couple, Glenn Desern and Franchon Desern Cruz. How y'all feeling? feeling fine. Did I say it correct? Cruz Desern. Cruz Desern. Okay, yeah. you want to check in? So what's going on, man? What brings y'all out today? Fights. I'm enjoying this fight. At. Yeah, I came out to check out competition and also spend time with my friend who lives here. But, mm -hmm. I mean, when the fights are around and I'm in town, you know I'm down. Okay. <laughs> Bars. Now, now, I'm happy to see both y'all. You know, it's always a pleasure to talk with y'all and see y'all. I'm trying to I'm trying to figure out whether or not if y'all the first boxing married couple. Is that true or not? Um, that can actually fight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's that's one of my things I would love to do. That's yeah. what I'm actually aiming for. Mm -hmm. And um, I want us to both fight on the same card. I would love for us to fight on TV or mm -hmm. he fight on my undercard. I fight on his undercard. But yeah, that's what I'm pushing for because black love rules too. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now, how much motivation um, do y'all give each other? And, you know, inspiration when y'all you know training and things like that. Do y'all get competitive? Uh, no. I mean, we get competitive when we spar. It's, not, it's nothing uh, personal. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I love the sport. She loves the sport, so it's, it's we're very motivated. Mm -hmm. It's cool. Like he pushes me, and he never lets me settle. Like he always wants the best out of me, and I want the best out of him. So, I mean, motivation-wise, but yeah, it do get competitive when we spar. Like, oh, he might hit me with a shot. I'm trying to hit his ass back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So Glenn, what's been going on with your career? Uh, just grinding in and out the ring right now. Um, working on recovering from my surgery, and I had something personal with myself that uh, I got a personal chip on my shoulder. Mm -hmm. So when I come back, I'm trying to finish, just finish out the whole sport. I'm trying to get me a strap. It's okay. really personal for me, so I'm very, I'm, I'm basically like really shutting down enjoying the sport because when I come back, I'm a mad scientist. I'm mm. go until I can't go in there. So, mm. so you're for, look at her smile, it's like, that's my I'm baby. So, <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, you don't understand, like, even like he said, he's recovering from his surgery and a doctor gave a timeline that he is absolutely not agreeing with. Like, he's way ahead of schedule and just mm. to see him in therapy, to see him, before he could even, like, really lift his arm, he was punching and Hmm. I just, I know his story is going to inspire so many people. It's, it definitely inspires me. I don't know. I was just watching, uh, I just heard about Tevin Farmer, so it gave me even yeah. more of a drive to, to, you know, achieve my goals. Plus, I'm on my 50 cents stuff right now. Yeah. I ain't got a lot of time to do so, you know, so, <laughs> I got to get the going. Yeah. Now, you, Miss French, how, how, what's been going on with you? So, um, yeah, I was uh, recently got out of my contract with Salida. I'm grateful for the opportunity. Um, right now, I'm just working being a free agent and kind of like him refocusing. Like, I've never had the opportunity to be like in tip top shape fighting. So, I'm just restructuring my business outside of the ring and restructuring my business in the ring. Well, I'm always business in the ring, but I'm tired of these girls babysitting belts and. You know, it, it's unfortunate, like, talent doesn't get the same opportunities, but I look good, I fight great, and it's game time. Like, I'm down for whatever. They don't want to get in the trenches. Yeah, they don't want to be in the trenches yeah. with me. And like, They don't want to get in the trenches. Everybody want to be cute, just put everything on market. Now. I'm real. The thing about me and a lot of these, I'm thorough. Like, what you see is what you get. Whether I got a camera in my face, whether you catch me walking down the street to 7-Eleven, um, <laughs> I, I love what I do. I love boxing. It changed my life, and I'm going to get a strap before it's all over. Uh, what do you see in the? Well, I'm glad you said that because I was going to ask you what do you see in the near future, and you just said you see yourself getting a strap. Well, I would love to fight. I mean, like, uh, what's her name? Mary. Mary. Uh, yeah, that's with Golden Boy. Yeah. I would love to fight her on a Triple G Canelo undercard. Uh, I'm hoping to fight in November. If I don't get that, but November would be awesome. And I'm gonna fight before the end of the year is out. Um, am I actively looking for a promoter now? If it's if it makes sense, yeah, I'm down. But I'm just trying to get this work. What, how you see women's boxing right now? I think it's good, but they need somebody to shake it up. Like I'm glad that women are getting the opportunity to fight on TV. They're getting opportunities like Alicia tonight to fight on, you know, be the first woman here to fight. Um, it's steady growing. Um, I just think that 
we need to give more opportunities to other girls because it's a lot of girls out here that can definitely push the sport forward even more. So, so Glenn, what do you say to that? Um, right now, I believe women's boxing is hot because it's a new generation, you know, from Christy Martin and Mel Ali. So I think this generation has more ability to adapt to the situation they're in by men dominating the sport. I really, truly, I truly believe women's boxing is, is so hot right now because they fight with so much more passion to prove themselves. So if you're a woman, a woman, and you boxing right now, it's time to strike while the iron's hot. Yeah, and I love, I, I can't front, like I love how the women are marketing themselves, whether you got Clarissa being tough, or you got like Alicia or Lady Hammer being, you know, sexy with it, like, <laughs> just do what you do, like, get your business together, Raquel, she's doing her thing, giving back, looking good, doing what she do, like, it's a new day. Now, thoughts in your division, you still, are you currently fighting at Bantamweight? Is it still good? Still at Bantamweight. Okay. Right now, I'm, right now, I'm just focused on Whatever the strap is, that's what I'm going. I ban on weight, junior, whatever, feather. I'm, that's, it ain't no, it ain't no um, limit limitations with me right now. I want the strap, so wherever I gotta go on this comeback, that's where I'm gonna go. You know, so that's my main focus. If I gotta drop, get the 106. Best believe I'm gonna get that mm. for a strap. Like that's where I'm at right now. Like I ain't got no time to wait. I don't really, you know. Cause I'm not gonna talk as much when I when it's time to come back to fight. Cause I'm, I'm just so focused. And like it's like mentally tapping in. Cause like I said, I got goals outside of boxing, and it's like I'm falling behind schedule. So my my eyes are on whatever the strap. So whatever that like, if I can get to that weight and that strap iron me, cause I'm already ironing it. That's what I'm gonna get. That's what I'm focused. So no limitation. Okay. Now where did this black love come from? Like how did y'all create such a a, a beautiful bond with union between each other? Cause y'all share a lot of things. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> yeah. It's a friendship. And I like the way y'all both looked at each other. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy. Um, honestly, like from my perspective, one is amazing, and I'm not just being biased because that's my husband. That's my best friend, and he did something for me I never had someone do other than my mother. Like. Mm. We, we were around each other since 06. I didn't even know. He was in an article. I never even knew that, that was him in the picture. Um, but when everybody failed me, when I was going for the Olympic Games in 2012, when everybody failed me, he supported me as a friend. He wasn't trying to get in my pants. He was just a good friend. And, yeah. I mean, when you find good people, you hold on to them. And I'm just so happy he loves me unconditionally. That's like life. I mean, you're going to have your snakes and you're a janky people, but once you find that one person that you can trust with your life, like you need that one person in the corner, multiple people in the corner to tell you like, look, this ain't your night, I ain't gonna let you take this punishment. That's how life is, that's how my marriage is, we best friends. Before boxing or competing or mm -hmm. any type of star status, we, we best friends. Like, I'm gonna be there for no matter what. Yeah, and, and I mean, he loved my mother. That's yeah. My mm -hmm. mother's like my heart. and. The, yeah. the respect and he helped me take care of my mom and I mean yeah, I oh, yeah, yeah yeah I think we just sold me yeah complete each other's sentences yeah you can't <laughs> you can't you can't really explain like real, real like because I mean we like people look like wow how they get together yeah. big mama sure, man. I mean, it's, 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 a spiritual it's thing. easy yeah. it's easy I think everything happens in divine order and he came in my life at the right time and we grew up together too so mm. I mean, we was real, we wasn't too young, we were young, you know, so. The reason why I ask that, because it's a, it's a beautiful thing to see. You don't see it every day. Um, outside of sports, you don't see it every day with, with black people, black couples really see the love. Like, y'all yeah. like, it's flowing off here, the aura, you oh. can see it, you're like. <laughs> you should have seen us yesterday. I had to get him right in that car because he was being cranky, and I had to get like, look, don't act like that in front of people. Be nice. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in order to have a great relationship, that's why you have to be friends. This is like being in the corner and your coach telling you to use the jab. Yeah. And you want to be stubborn because you think you can just walk the person down. You yeah. want to keep getting counter if you don't use the jab. Like, it's just like this. She's saying I was wrong. I admit to it. Mm -hmm. You know, I got back focused. You know? And trust me, I think, and another thing, we're honest with each other. Like, everything isn't perfect. 
Um, we just had perfect effort. Like mm. we grew. We have like seven years under our belt, and we didn't been through the mud. We didn't been down. We didn't experience like great times. Like when we fought on Showtime and won, and mm. when I fought in Vegas on my pro debut, we've been through it all. So, I mean, he's still here. I'm still here. Why not? Me work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you have any advice for for people out there to, you know, to build that love? Yeah. <laughs> You know what? Sometimes you gotta step out of your comfort zone. Like, I'm being honest. People will look at our physical differences. Like, I, why are you dating a short guy? Why you got that big bitch with you? Like, <laughs> you know, um, when you were younger, you were more superficial. As you get older and you see your heart and your soul desires more things and you start looking at people with your soul rather than looking at him like, oh, he found, my baby is fine. Like, I'm lucky he's fine. He, he's a real man. Everything about him is real man. Um, but I gave myself a chance to be loved. Yeah. I wasn't taking out my last relationship on him and I accepted him for his flaws and he loved me enough to try to change and work on those flaws, vice versa. So, I mean, it's a, it's a give and take situation, you know? Basically, love be, love be on the flesh. Like, you, like she said, she view me, other people view me. Oh, he's sure he's this, he's, and other people view her as this. Mm. I, see her, I see her soul, I don't really see her flesh. You know, so it's like you gotta love somebody beyond the flesh. If you don't judge them, judge them beyond the flesh. Yeah, look at your third eye. So many people stay focused on two mm. eyes. Then when they get stuck with that two hundred eighty-five thousand dollar child support check they got paid every <laughs> month, Griffin, yeah. Stuff, Blake Griffin. <laughs> yeah. You know, and the thing is, like for me, like when I look at him, it's times I'll be sitting in the house and I look at him and I already see us like eighty-five yeah. years old. You know, and it's it's cool. I don't know, just. Let it happen. Follow your heart, look at your eye, and just let it happen. Now, when y'all fight, do y'all hate each other? No. Do we hate each other? Here, here, oh. here. Oh, when we fight? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. It's impossible. Because, you know, it's loud. You know, it's loud. Yeah, it's impossible for me not to recognize her voice. Yeah. People I really care for and love, I recognize their voice at the whole stadium. Yeah. Cheering it's at a, one time. You, you know? look at any of videos of me, you'll hear, Big Mama. Like, mm. it's funny because Coach B, I'll hear them and stuff, but you'll hear, Big Mama, Big Mama. Like, okay. <laughs> and we just switch roles. Yeah. Like, when he fight, I'm like, I scream my head off, mm. and he's calm. And then when I fight, he's like going crazy. He's showing, he's talking so much. Yeah. Um, and we feel each other too. Like yeah. he knows when I'm nervous, he knows everything. Okay. Any last words? Um, I can't wait to get back to the ring, but we need like a campaign. Franchon, these girls gotta stop ducking Franchon. <laughs> And fight and just fucking fight, man. We in the trenches, you know. Ain't nobody, nobody's gonna be the next Mayweather. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Not in this generation, male or female. We need to fight. Like while you're young, you got you fucking fight. I mean, I'm down. <laughs> we can fight, run it back. You get that W over me, we can run it fight. back. Like I, I'm the type. Like people always ask me about. Clarissa, right? Since she says I clout chase, we got into it on Twitter. She said I was clout chaser. I'm like, baby, I had this before I even, like, before you were even here. Like, I, I'm cool, but I'm down to fight her again, and I'm not afraid to lose. That's my thing, cause I've already been at the bottom before. So, I just like to fight, and I think when more women start doing that, I understand it's a business, but they let their balls hang. I think we'll get further. Stay in the trenches, man. I stay in the trenches. That's, like, that's what boxing about. Man. The day you, the day you come up out of the trench, and you feel like you too clean to jump back down. That's the day you'll fall off. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. And for continued support, where can they follow you? Hmm? For continued support, where can they follow you? Where you go to follow you? Uh, Glenn Design. <laughs> Junior. Junior. I almost had my Earl Spence moment. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no yeah, you were, uh, to it. No, he uh, Instagram. Glenn is Aaron Jr. Twitter, Instagram, uh, Twitter, sorry, I get punched in the head, but yeah, you know, Twitter, same thing for me. Instagram, the HH Diva, T H E, H H D I V A. Facebook, Franchon the Heavy Hitting Diva Cruise. And Twitter, the HH Diva as well. All right, there we have it. Thank you so much. See y'all soon back in the ring before the end of the year. <laughs> All right. Thank you.